MFA, the girl, real nice young girl, came up and Belle was eating grass and throwing up. Dogs do that sometimes. They eat grass for whatever reason. But she was concerned that it was the chlorine in the water, which I don't think there's much chlorine because there's some algae. Um, and dogs can drink a little bit of chlorine just like people can. Um, but she was worried about my dog, and she said that I could come in and get water. But see, when that that happens, then I got to, you know, pay the... I have to get someone to hold the dog, and then I got to buy him a drink or a piece of pizza. You know, it costs me money. Um, and then you're taking up somebody's time. You're like, are you going to be here a few minutes? And, you know, it's a commitment. And sometimes that works out, and sometimes it just doesn't. And then I can't bring the dog in. If I could bring the dog in, I, you know, I would maybe go to the bathroom and get her some water. But it's just not that big a deal. I think she's okay drinking a little bit of chlorine water. Um, you know, I could tie her up, but then I've had people criticize me. Oh, you shouldn't leave your dog out here tied up. So I get that criticism too. So I guess, you know, you could put a doggy water fountain up. And I've mentioned that, the lotus flower. And you could have the top one for adults, the medium for children, and the lower for dogs. But then you'd have to run a, a line of water that would be uh, non-chlorinated. But maybe you got the money now that you're doing this big addition. But anyway, so yeah, she didn't really give me time to talk to her. She just made her statement and then she walked away. So she was being very critical. You know, I'm, I'm a pretty good dog owner. I don't kick, I'll move a dog with my leg, but I never kick or hurt them. They're animals. Why would you hurt an animal? Animals are easy. People are tough.